Welcome back, my dear student. In this lecture here, I'm going to start building some custom functions that are going to help us build, uh, make our applications a little bit more flexible with uh, databases. We can use all the databases and just plug it in and change the code a little bit and it will reflect in our whole application. Plus, it's just going to make it easier for us to write also, to write our code, all right? So, let me just show you real quick how this is done, all right? So, we have we are making a SQL statements here that is going inside our database. We're saving the query here. We're sending it in with our MySQL uh, MySQLi under, underscore query, right? That's a function that's going to send in that query. And we are displaying some errors here. And we are also using this function to bring back the result set and loop through it, right? We are fetching it. So we're going to be changing all these functions to custom functions, right? Basically, we're going to be using them and returning uh, their same functionality, but with custom functions. So let's go ahead and do that right now. Let's go to functions real quick. The first one that I want to do, and that was not included there, is it's going to is called header. This one, header. All right, that's just to redirect. So let's create a custom function here that's going to redirect. You see, this is an easier name, right? Redirect, and it just tells exactly what it's doing. So that's why I want to convert those functions into custom functions. So we're going to say header right here. We're going to have the same thing, right? Like the same way we, we write it down. We're going to have to write location. And then here, we're just going to say location like this. We're going to put a variable there, all right? And we're going to bring the variable up here, all right? And that's it, all right? So this is just going to re, uh, redirect all right, every time we need it to. So that's all it's going to be doing, all right? So another fu uh, helper function that we're going to be using a lot is going to be called query. Well, my SQLite query, but we're going to be naming it query. This is just a couple functions here, all right? And basically, this one's just going to return my SQLite query like this, all right? And this one, first we need to pass in that SQL, right? We're going to have the connection here, of course, and the SQL. There we go. Of course, we need to use the connection. And for that, we need to bring it in with global. If you want to bring in the same value that connection variable has in a config, all right? If you want to bring it inside a function, you need to use global just to let it know that you're using a global variable inside a function. If you just name a connection here again, you're using you're creating a different variable just to make sure that you know that. All right. Uh, we're also going to be using a confirm function. All right. And this is just that. If not that I just did here, basically, that's what it is. All right. Uh, we're also going to be using escaping values all right and we can say escape string here instead of escape value all right this is just gonna escape a lot of stuff that are going to go inside our database to prevent sql injections very very useful all right and as we go along we'll make some more helper functions uh these are the major ones that we're going to be using another one is uh mysql fetch i'm just going to create that one let me just create it right here. Function, and we're going to call this fetch array. I think it's easier to pronounce it, right? And we're going to be returning the functionality. And this one here, all right, gets the result set. So this one here, is a, we can say result right here, all right? There we go. All right, we don't need a connection here. Perfect. All right. What else do we need? We have the query. We have the my SQL arrow. If you want to do that, you can. It's up to you. But I think my SQL arrow says is an error. It's it's pretty easy to do, but we could if we wanted to. All right. But we already have it here with our confirm function. We're using it right here, so we don't need that. All right. So as we go along again, we are going to be creating some more. And um, you can come up with some more of yourself if you like. This is just a few. Okay. 
Thank you so much for watching and we're going to continue with our e-commerce system course. Take care and see you in the next lecture.